Hello folks, my name is Tim Savage. I'm the immediate past president of the Orchestra of Northern New York, and it gives me great pleasure on this behind the scenes of Ani episode to be speaking with some brothers in arms. We've got Mark Boyer and Steve Bateman, who are our trucking team in addition to some other things. Fellas, welcome. Glad to have you with us today. Thank you. It's good to be here. Super. Please tell us a bit about yourselves and how you became aware of and involved with the Orchestra of Northern New York. Mark? Uh, well, uh, a number of years ago, a couple of friends and I, we've been coming over to Crane for years. One of them called me up and said there was a, an orchestral performance. He wanted to know if I wanted to go. We went over. I don't really remember anything about the concert, uh, but it's you know more than 25 years ago. Uh, the only thing I remember is I went home, after I got home, it was, I made my first donation to what became the Orchestra of Northern New York. So cool. I think it was good. <laughs> wow, that's great. How about yourself, Steve? Well, I actually got involved with the orchestra because of Mark. Mark and I graduated from high school together. We've known each other for over 60 years. And one night he called me up and asked my wife and I if we wanted to go to a concert in Potsdam. So the next thing you know, we were going to all the Ani concerts. And uh, I just happened to be out in the lobby during intermission one night, and I ran into you, and the rest is history. Yeah, Here we is. are. The very good history. You, you fellows are both from Ogdensburg, mm -hmm. lifelong residents of Ogdensburg. Yep. Yep. Cool. We're awfully glad that you made it here. The task of moving the orchestra is key to our ability to function. It is a time-intensive and sometimes downright hard work. I'm going to start that again because I misused the language. All right. The task of moving the orchestra is key to our ability to function. It is time consuming and sometimes downright hard work. What makes you want to volunteer your time and abilities to what needs to be done time and time again? Steve? Well, uh, it came about that the regular moving crew was busy doing hockey season, so <laughs> Mr. Savage asked uh, Mark and I if we'd be interested in helping move the orchestra. So it just evolved into a full-time job for us now. And uh, we, just, we just love it. We just love moving the orchestra. We move in the instruments, the, the, all the percussion, the music stands, uh, occasionally a harpsichord. And we get to see the behind the scenes work of the orchestra, which is what we wouldn't, we wouldn't see that as in the board in board meetings or in the, in the orchestra watching the concert, you know. So we get to see the behind the scenes and it's just, it's just a great, great time. Do you ever have any interaction with the musicians in that? Oh yeah, we've, I've met half the musicians, I think, probably in the orchestra, if not more. And, uh, and so, yeah, they're, and they're wonderful people, you know. They're just so easy to talk to and so appreciative of, of what we do to get them ready to go. Oh, that's great. Mark, what about yourself? Why, why, all, why do you come and do all the hard work all the time? Well, it's enjoyable. I, uh, first of all, it's, um, it's like being on the board. You see a, a whole different dimension of what the orchestra is and how much goes into putting on a performance. It's not just putting musicians on a stage. You know, there are rehearsals that we don't take any part in, but you know, there, there's the activities of the board, and then there's the really necessary uh, work of putting the equipment on the stage for the musicians. What actually is involved from the time that, you know, you know you're going to be working a, a pair of concerts? Uh, there's, uh, you know, just a lot of lifting and, and, and moving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, you know, you, you, you get the truck, and you pile the truck, fill the truck, Drive to a place, unload it. After the concert, you load it back up and bring it all home in one piece. Makes me think of that Jackson Brown tune a little bit. <laughs> Play just a little bit longer, yeah. I think is the name of it. Yeah. Anything you want to add to that as far as the details of what the work actually is? Yeah, we, well, we, we, we get the, the playlist and the uh, equipment list from Kenny in an email. And then we, uh, and then, you know, so we know what we need to pick up. And, and much of it is waiting there for us, think, thanks to Matt Gotti and the team at Crane. And so we, we pick up the U-Haul truck and we back it into the loading dock at Hosmer Hall and we take what Kenny's got on his equipment list and hopefully it all arrives at time. 
<laughs> we get to we, we we go as far as Watertown, so it's an it's an easy truck. Let's say it's a three o'clock concert in Watertown. What time do you are what times do you arrive at the venue? First Presbyterian Church or yeah. Sturt's Theater or Episcopal Church? We get there Church. about noon usually and, and get unloaded and then it takes some time to set the stage up. Kenny also gives us a, a seating chart and an arrangement chart. So and we try to work with that, but you know, when Kenny gets there everything changes. <laughs> As you know. Well you do you bring yeah. your tape measure with you when you set yeah, that thing right. up? No, no. Um, what are what are some of the most rewarding parts of the the experience? Well, you get to hear the the, the orchestra again. There, there you I, go. I, <laughs> and uh, that 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 uh, that repays all the work that goes into moving the orchestra. Really, and wonderful. It's uh, just a it's a it's a busy day, and there's a certain amount of work, but it's uh, satisfying. Oh, that's wonderful. Any frustrating moments that you'd care to reveal to the listening public? I thought about that question. You know, we, we don't, they're really, I, I you know, may, maybe sometimes we can't get a big enough truck or, uh, you know, it's cold and, uh, you know, we're moving. We, the, the, sometimes in some venues we have some difficulty getting things inside because it's just not convenient. There's a little elevator in Clayton, for instance. You know, things like that. <laughs> right. But I got to say that no, it's 90% rewarding, 10% frustrating. Yeah, those are maybe. good odds, right? Yeah, I'd say so. The one that comes to my mind is inclement weather, trying to drive in inclement weather with that loaded truck. Yeah. It's, it's beyond our control, but mm -hmm. it is one of those things. Both of you are voting board members uh, on our board of directors and contribute significantly in that capacity as well. What have been your observations of how we attend to the business of attending to the art of what we do? Steve? Well, I've been on the board about three years now and, and I, see, I see nothing but forward motion here, you know, and in, in, in your capacity as president for nine years, you brought it to where we are today and then now Kim Bush is going to take over, and I see the orchestra in a really, really good place. You know, we've, we've, uh, we've implemented an evaluation system. We've got strategic goals and we're, that we're working toward now, and, uh, it, and, th and now with the live streaming aspect, I think the board is in a really good place uh, to move forward. That's very, very nice. Mark, anything you'd like to add to that? Uh, the only thing that surprised me when I, when I got on board was all the components that are part of the operation of, of making the orchestra successful. You know, it, it's financial, but it's moving the orchestra. It's it's you know hiring hiring the, the musicians to play. It's you know f finding the the pieces that you're you're going to play. Uh, you know, providing meals and housing for for the orchestra. Uh, Things that uh, I never crossed my mind before I was on the before I was on the board. You know, I, I think uh, that was one of the reasons why I got on the board to you know just see what was behind the scenes and there's a great deal of detail and and work that goes in to these performances that no one ever knows about. You know, if, if you're in the audience, you have no idea of, of all the work that goes in to, to putting an orchestra on a stage and having them perform music. There's a lot under the hood, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want to tell you guys that it's been a real pleasure w working with you on the board. We have, I think, a fantastic board. Every seat, someone brings something special to the organization, you both included. And so we want to thank you for that. And we want to thank you for continuing to move the orchestra with good humor, grace, and just making that part of it fun for everybody involved. Thank you, Steve Bateman. Mark Boyer, thanks for, for joining us here today. Thank you. You're welcome. Pleasure to be here.